Hello Internet, this is a video about the emergency exits and emergency door releases on the buses. On the London buses and on the buses in general, all the windows are emergency exits. All the doors are emergency exits. They are, as the name suggests, to be used only in case of an emergency. If you use the emergency controls or the emergency exits in a non-emergency situation, you can be prosecuted. The reason for that is because the people that may follow you are not aware of the dangers outside and the exit is not opened by the driver. Therefore, it is not safe to leave the bus at that time through that exit also those people are not covered by the insurance of the company which means that when they leave through the door because they will be simply sitting here they will see oh the door is open i can leave the bus now so what will happen is they will follow you they will leave through that door and a motorcycle, a bicycle, a car or any other vehicle that is coming from behind the bus as they step outside of the bus will just hit them and then their life may be changed forever because of you being reckless now no matter how big your ego is no matter how big your feeling of self-importance is no matter how entitled you feel you are don't use the emergency exits emergency door releases in non-emergency situations as i already said they are to be used only when as the name suggests there is an emergency you missing the bus you missing your bus stop you being on the wrong bus you seeing your house through the window and deciding to jump out of the bus those are not emergency situations yes there may be urgency for you to get to that location to be inside the bus but urgency is not the same word as the word emergency those are very different words and they have very different meaning the word emergency is not the same as the word urgency now those doors some people have said back in my time when we were having the root masters we had no doors everybody was able to leave the bus when they please they will just jump out of the bus well guess what nowadays we don't want people to get injured so we put doors in on the buses now as before on the old buses now in the new buses is the same thing you on that bus you are not a prisoner and you are free to leave that bus at any time now obviously if you want to leave for whatever reason if you missed your bus stop then that's your fault don't expect the driver to open the doors for you if you were on the wrong bus the same thing applies don't expect the driver to open the doors for you However, if there is a traffic jam or the bus is broken down you can approach the driver obviously just come to the front door where the driver is now if the driver is driving meaning the bus is moving or is about to start moving about to depart from a bus stop don't speak to the driver he is occupied and needs to leave the bus stop safely or to keep driving safely don't distract the drivers if the bus is stopped at a bus stop or stuck in traffic or broken down then you can approach the driver and depending on your issue you can speak to the driver for example hello driver i missed my bus stop can you please open the door or hello driver i'm on the wrong bus can you please let me out of the bus 
it's unlikely he will let you off he or she will, whatever he will let you off the bus because there is rules and regulations and as I already said the insurance of the company is something very specific I will not speak about the insurance of the buses because that's a very big subject however because of rules and regulations and for your own safety he may not let you off however if there is a traffic jam or the bus is broken down you may approach the driver and it's reasonable to expect the driver to leave let you off the bus so if there is a traffic jam approach the driver and tell him driver can you please open the doors i will rather walk now the driver he will check his mirrors he will check if there is motorcycles coming he will not open the doors if there is cars coming he will not open the doors he will open the doors only if the driver believes it's safe for you to leave the bus or if the bus is sufficiently close to the curb because if there is a very big gap people can get very easily injured because some people have mobility issues so when we open the bus doors we have to take into account that now as i already said about the insurance and you opening the doors it's not safe for the people what can happen is when they leave the bus yes they can get hit by a car the problem here is that not that it's not just that because you are reckless and you are entitled and you have a big ego and you have a big feeling of self-importance this is not my problem my problem is that when somebody follows you through that door they will get injured because of you and then be not aware that is not safe outside they will not check anything and they are unable to check because they cannot see what's happening there there are the seats and they have no visibility so when they get injured their life can be changed forever also all of their medical bills they will have to pay all of their medical bills because the driver is not the one that opened the doors and because the driver is not the one that opened the doors those passengers are not covered by the insurance of the company so you will not just injure them with your reckless actions you can get them to be in very serious financial troubles so please be mindful of the other people don't be reckless don't be egoistic don't be with inflated self-importance feeling also don't feel that you are entitled to leave the bus at any time you are not a prisoner however also please consider the safety of others because that's a bus and there is other people than yourself on that bus so that's when that's about the emergency exits and emergency door controls so stay safe thank you for watching and see you in the next one